The Center for Values and Leadership, an organization committed to leadership development in Nigeria, hosted its 14th annual leadership symposium lecture. Considering the quality of personalities that the CVI lectures has attracted over the years, the 14th edition was no exception as the cream of the Nigerian society and leaders of thought gathered for another incisive engagement. Focusing on the theme, Living Well Together, Tomorrow, the challenge for Africa's future cities. The founder of the CVL, Professor Pat Utomi, in his opening remarks shared the essence of the event. There is an obsession with talking about tertiary education in Nigeria. And yet, what is more important, because if you don't get that right, the quality of tertiary education will be not so right. Because garbage goes in and only garbage can exit. And this is primary education. Primary education matters for many reasons, including the fact that some of the most learning, I am told by the experts, takes place during those early years. And so this commitment and this belief that we should walk our talk, not only say what is government doing, has led us down a track of something I've mentioned before. And we're trying to start two primary schools, one in Nikurudu, one in a place called Ibuzo in Delta State. These primary schools will be for the poorest of the poor, free of charge, with a free meal, and will aim to give better than corona quality education to the children of the poorest of the poor. If we can add strong values curriculum, strong design and tech curriculum, and if we can add strong leadership curriculum, we believe that the problems of social mobility, and many of us seem to be oblivious of a growing danger of a society where we could have a permanent underclass. Social mobility, because of the quality of education, is not taking place as it should take place. Our hope is that that kind of effort will help begin to change this. We have a lot of young people amongst us. Uh, usually we have four or 500 executives, senior people at these meetings. But it does not matter until we can get the young people to begin to understand early what leadership means. That leadership is other-centered behavior, not about self. If you look in the mirror and all you see is you, you are not a leader. Leadership is sacrificial giving of oneself for the advance of the common good. And our hope is that we be, as we bring these younger people to begin to learn what is important, they will get away from this phenomenon in our collapse of culture in which life is about finding money that you do not need, to buy things you do not want, to please neighbors you do not like, <laughs> and focus on more elevating things that can truly make you immortal, people to remember you long after you've gone. In his capacity as chairman of the occasion, Senator Lee Elimoke, former governor of Cross River State, shared his perspective on the theme which was discussing urbanization in Nigeria and Africa. We've had various policies, various theories on urbanization, rural migration, moving back to the villages, moving back to the farms, moving up to the cities, and growing the cities. And in recent times, urbanization, which appeared to be something that wasn't so good, now seems to be the driver for the future of development in Africa. If that is the case, as has been propounded by a number of Korea presentations and similar presentations, then the challenge for us first is coming to terms with our present realities. Keynote speaker and professor of economics, Professor Paul Collier, shared with stakeholders how Africa and Nigeria can embrace population explosion with strategic urbanization plans. Professor Otomi already spoke of the, the vital nature 
of good quality primary education. The key word there is actually quality. It's one thing to get children sitting in a school, it's another to get ideas in their heads. That depends upon good teaching. I was the first generation in my family to receive anything other than the most elementary education. My mother and father both left school when they were only 12 years old. I went to very ordinary state schools, but they were staffed by teachers who had internalized the mission, the objective of the school, which was to drag little brats like me up the foothills of the wonderful world of knowledge. And they did. In some schools in Africa, in some schools in Nigeria, teachers don't show up for class, or they stand before the class, but they couldn't do well on the tests that you children have to take. If your teachers can't do well, how on earth do they expect you to do well? Huh? So the vital matter with all public services, like teaching, is internalizing the objectives. You have to get the staff to, to motivated by the objective. And that is the core business of leadership. Exactly the same is true of the police service. You know? Unmotivated police can become a problem instead of an asset. So how does leadership build internalization, get people to buy into the mission? And Basically, leadership has to walk the talk. And three governors in a row in Lagos have done that. But you have to live what you say. You have to set by example. Professor Padu Tomi speaks for than the 14th CVL annual lecture, Essence of the Theme and the State of the Nation. Really, it's about bringing to, uh, uh, if you will, a peak, the themes of the last couple of years. Um, I've been trying to make the point that through the years we've tried to focus on poverty. Why is there poverty in a country with so much opportunity, with so much in terms of resources, human and material? And we came to the rather sad conclusion that the problem is leadership. So how do we train a generation of young people to realize that sacrificial giving of oneself for the common good of all, to realize that the right kinds of values so what gets you to make progress? And so we looked at the most important phenomenon in wealth creation today, urbanization. The fact that most of the world lived in rural areas a few decades ago. In the future, most of the world will live in urban areas as hub for rapid economic growth. Um, what do you have to say so far on the state of Nigerian economy at the moment? Well, I, I think that we have to keep working at our problems. Again, it come, comes down to the point I made. It's about leadership, it's about values. If the values are right, if the leadership is right, to shape the values, Nigeria would not be having the Professor, problems uh, we have. What do you project for 2017, looking at the economic recession we are having and inflation being at double digits? It, it depends. It depends on what you do, it depends on what I do. Projecting doesn't make much sense in this enormous uncertainty kind of scenario. Finally, for my part, um, today we got the info, info that from 26 you've been in government uh, even to this age. What would you like to tell the younger generation? Because you are a rare breed of someone that's had this opportunity, public and private sector space. What should they learn from you? If you can dream it, you can make it happen. Our challenge is a challenge of limited dreams. The development of most cities in Nigeria and Africa brings enormous opportunities for economic growth and development. This hangs on a conscious effort to ensure proper land allocation system, energy, connectivity, infrastructure, mass transportation, big public spending, and most importantly, a productive economy that provides jobs for the unemployed youth.